guys we are here talking about the galaxy z oops z flip 3 and the watch 4 and why i think both of them are a awesome combo for samsung devices so let's find out Okay guys, so honestly, this is a very interesting match and pairing because technically you can use the Galaxy Watch 4 with any Samsung device or any Android device in general. Uh, but I think it pairs well with the Flip 3. Well, well, there are a couple of things. Well, now, first off, um, if you want to see more coverage of what I'm doing on the Flip 3 and all their Galaxy devices, subscribe to the channel and also check out all the content we have. Now, as you guys know, BoardFam has really spent more time with the Flip 3 than I have. But I spent some time with this, especially on our trip to London, coming back, and seeing her use the Flip 3 has been quite interesting, especially the fact she loves taking photos. So being able to take photos everywhere, for her, that's been great, it's been fun. Uh, for me, it's been an interesting process because I'm not one to take photos like that, but I do like the fact that I can, and I got to experience some of that you know, today, um, being able to, uh, uh, hang out with friends and do a group selfie uh, and it's funny because we all sat down and everyone was like who has the best phone they all had some people had iPhone 12s I had my S21 Ultra I had my flip and boyfriend was like look let's use the flip because we can set it down and of course take selfies and boom it worked out images look good and honestly the camera quality off the flip has been really solid uh, definitely check out um, Daniel Sin's videos He's done a couple, bunch of comparisons with the Flip that I think you guys will find interesting and quite impressive. So, um, you know, that's something to definitely take. But also, Danny Winger has done some good videos on the Flip. And I look, I like the images that come off the camera itself. Now, speaking of the Watch 4, you know, as so we kind of go back and forth, right? The Watch 4 is pretty cool. It looks pretty nice and clean. It's got this nice aesthetic look to it. Uh, it's a very solid looking product. Now it's got the digital dial on the Watch 4. Uh, the Watch 4 Classic has the, of course, regular dial. And um, that being said though, it gives you this very uh, comfortable feel while you wear it. And I like the way it functions with ties in over Wear OS. Being able to use navigation on my wrist while driving is great, but it's just very smooth. Uh, it's not something that's it's oddly new, but it's just a very smoother experience now. Um, the other thing, of course, is you've got the access to the Google Play Store. So you've got access to all the applications that you can use and all that fun stuff. So that stuff is actually pretty nice. Now, let's go back quickly to the camera. Now, this camera takes some really good photos. I was quite surprised and uh, really does a good job in expressing the fact that you can use the camera while closed right here you know, by just basically double tapping the power button and then you've got access to the camera and I can take some photos for you guys right here. Boom, uh, boom. You get the idea, right? Allow me to look fresh and clean. And speaking of that though, a quick word from our sponsor of this video, Thread. Now, Thread is a website where you can get all the latest clothing from different brands that you like. Um, and the way Thread works is that it actually has uh, built-in algorithms that learns your styles, your habits, so they can actually select clothes for you. The cool thing I like about Thread is the fact that, look, for my trip to London, they hooked me up with a bunch of nice clothing that I was able to select. And honestly, I look good. Thank you very much, guys, uh, from Thread. And uh, you can actually pick and select what matches your style. And they've also got built-in stylists who can actually go through and say, hey, look, this matches you. This is the kind of wardrobe you want to go. And it's an awesome experience. Honestly, definitely check them out and use the link down below. So speaking of style though, that's something that the Flip really has. It's a stylish looking device. I especially like the black Flip because it's phantom black. Um, it doesn't slide off and also has a very clean look to it. Though the case though is nice. Uh, the flip case, I do like it because it allows for you to just kind of hold it in your hand um, quite easily uh, while you either keep it open, stuff like that. So again, pretty cool overall. But this is a device that has kind of like fashion of function to it, if you will, right? Um, and that's something I really think that a lot of people may not understand and it's kind of hard to explain honestly i can't give you just the oh it's got this spec and that's why i like the flip 
I'll tell you why I like it because it's cool. It's it's um, portable. It's small. It's got great usability from a camera perspective, and it does what it says it's supposed to do. Now with the Watch 4, um, it does everything you want from Android Watch, and there are very few good Android watches out there. So I really like where Samsung has gone this watch to be. Now let's talk downsides. When it comes to downsides, both devices have terrible battery life. Um, yeah, I'll say it that way. The Flip 3 was 3300 milliamp battery. Hmm. If you record a lot of video throughout the day, it's going to hit you. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Yes, it's got two displays. The cover display, hmm, it's not that crazy. It doesn't really drain as much, I would think. But when you use it quite a bit, it's just a small battery. So hopefully Samsung can amp the battery um, size for this device, maybe up to 4000 milliamps would be great. So we can see, uh, get more from this device. Now with the Watch 4, uh, that's something where I was kind of shocked. Like if I didn't turn on uh, power saving mode, my battery only lasted a day. Now with power saving mode on, I can go to two days and I've kind of kept it on power saving mode because that's just the most sensible thing to do. I don't know why it's that bad, but honestly, it's not a great experience, especially if you're gonna be working out and you're going to be walking around or using it in different places. Um, you know, this definitely needs more battery life overall. Um, but the other thing also is charging. And I think that's where I really need smartwatches to get improvements. I, I would love to see 10 minute charge to fully charge this device because when you jump in the shower in the morning, you can fully charge it, especially if you use the sleep tracking at night, which will drain your battery as well. Same thing with this bad boy. Even though it's got reverse wireless charging uh, and it's got 25 watt fast charging, it's just not enough. But that being said though, like, yeah, those are the things that I, I hold against them and that's it. Everything else I do like. I like the way this device works. I like the way they kind of pair together. To me, I think it just definitely works overall. Um, and you guys will ask, okay, things like gaming, you've seen, check out my gaming video. Uh, it does that pretty well. I mean, you can do all the tasks you want to do, but you've also got a cool phone that flips, bends, and it allows you to do more photography wise than you would think. So there you have it guys. That is my, those are my thoughts on the Flip 3 and the Galaxy Watch 4. I think these are really good. Definitely check them out. If you wanna pick up any of these devices, use the links down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Check out more videos on the channel. It's gonna be a very busy September and October, guys. So stay tuned for more content. I'll be chatting with you guys more on the community page, I promise, because I'd be very bad at that. And uh, always enjoy your entertainment.